NBC News correspondent Steve Patterson joins us now on this from Los Angeles. Hi, Steve. So tell us more about the allegations and why the victim chose to come forward now. Well, Serena, the allegations are horrific. And if you include not only Sean Diddy Combs, but his associates, this is actually the third lawsuit in as much time levied against Combs and his inner circle. This one, as you mentioned, stems from 1991. A Syracuse University college student says that Sean Diddy Combs took her out to dinner, that she was drugged, and that she was drugged for the purpose of a sexual assault, and that she was so drugged that she could not fight back against said sexual assault. There's also the accusation that the sexual assault itself was recorded as a form of revenge porn and that that tape was shown to several people including a member of the 90s R&B group Jodeci. The wow. accuser says that she was so hurt and so confused and so traumatized at the time that she didn't file anything, that she didn't follow up, but that she did follow up uh, following that incident with a police report in both New York and New Jersey and that she's coming out you know, 30 years later, because this Sex, years uh, later. Adult Survivors Act in, in New York was set to expire just the day before she filed suit in New York. But the true inspiration, of course, was the lawsuit filed by Cassie and the inspiration from that. Oh, so, my goodness. And Sue, have we heard any response here from Combs? I mentioned that he's denying the allegations, but anything else specific from him or his legal team? Yeah, we've heard from his legal team. I'll read a quote from you. This is in part. It says, quote, the last minute suit is an example of how a well-intentioned law can be turned on his head. The accuser's 32-year-old story is made up and not credible. Mr. Combs never assaulted her. This is purely a money grab. Wow. So,